Holy enchilada, my teacher has gas. I got a D in salami. Barfing in the back seat, how I survived this Zipser family road trip. And one of my favorite titles is The Curtain Went Up, My Pants Fell Down. The series began when Henry and I met for lunch at a restaurant in Hollywood. Uh, I had the tuna salad, you had... The fish, and the it was fish. horrible. But what was excellent was our conversation. And during that conversation, Henry described to me his growing up period where he, he had learning disabilities. And so we hatched the idea of writing a series that it stars a kid who has learning differences, but he's really smart and funny and resourceful and happy. His glass is half full. Hank Zipser. Uh, Hank, of course, comes from my name, Henry, and Zipser comes from a woman, Ella Zipser, who lived on the fourth floor of my apartment building, the same apartment building Hank lives in, and we thought it was a zippy name, Zipser. Henry and I write every word together in this very office. Right. Um, I sit at the computer because I type and he doesn't. Lynn is always in her leather chair. I sit on the couch in the rocking chair or I try and make sure that my shoe fits inside the lines of the boards in the parquet floor. The first novel came out in uh, 2003. The very last book of the series is number 17, and it's called A Brand New Me. Hank graduates from PS 87. He flies into uh, terror because everybody else has a middle school that they've applied to and gotten accepted to. And he doesn't know if there's going to be a place for him, if there's going to be a school that's right for him. So that's the, that's the journey that we follow him on in A Brand New Me, is will he or won't he go to middle school? Will he or won't he get into the school of his choice, which is the school for gifted and talented kids? And I would just like to say I've just noticed my partner's shoes, which I think are really great. Thank you very much. I got them on sale, but... You did? You have a good eye. Yeah, they, they look great. The most important thing for us in creating this series is to speak to kids and to let them know that inside each one of them, they have a unique and special contribution that they can make to the world. And that their, uh, that their life journey is about finding that. And if it's not just like everybody else's journey, that's fine. There are many ways to get there. The, the real nerve center of the books is that they're funny and that all children get the message, it doesn't matter. You can succeed in life, no matter what obstacle might be in your way, there is a way around it. There is a way to beat the obstacle and continue to your dream. And that's for all kids. Absolutely. <laughs>